today i will tell you that how we can create a professional resume in ms word so you guys can see here that i have already created and resume for you guys today i will tell you that how i created this resume so you can create this resume for yourself so here i open a new ms word file click on file tab and then take a blank document first of all we have to set page layout page layout page layout page size should be a4 size as it is widely used in the world uh, for resume uh, uh, and cv purposes so click on size and then click on a4 a4 mean 2.27 inches width and 11.69 is length so after that we have to set margin margin should be narrow and after that click in uh, we ha uh, we have to take a new uh, new uh, blank sheet uh, so uh, on one sheet i can put my template which i have already uh, created and uh, on the other uh, sheet i can prepare it again for you guys so you can uh, see that how i prepare it uh, on insert insert click blank page now i will put my template here as a source file and i will create new here so here i this was already prepared so i select it all control a control a from my keyboard control c from my keyboard then i click on this blank sheet and control v for paste after that guys i will click on layout uh, layout options uh, mm, here uh, insert insert option i will create a, a rectangle draw a rectangle here vertical and horizontally so on insert click on shape and select rectangle and then keep your mouse here on page then hold left key of your mouse and drag it down this is our rectangle you can guys see this is 2.5 inches wide and so i will reduce its size till 2.5 here you can see it is one inch second and two and half inches wide after that i will copy it this this shape i will copy this shape again control c from keyboard and then control v paste after that i will take my cursor on this object as it is selected you can see that uh, there is all around dots which mean this object is now selected i will hold my keep uh, left key of my mouse and will drag it down when i will see rounded arrow i will hold it and will rotate it and after that i will put it 
here and we'll reduce its size by holding left key of mouse <clears throat> so guys i clicked on this object and right click on this object and click on bring to uh, front mean it should be on the front as you uh, guys can see that this is uh, this rectangle on the front and this rectangle on the back side after that i will take a text box i will insert click on insert here at the left side here you can see draw text box and you will create uh, draw a text box here here you can see text box and here you type you are uh, you are name and uh, you are name guys whatever we write in our resume in ms word we will have to cho uh, choose a new draw box so or every information can be right in proper position so i will copy it again and control c uh, for, uh, to copy this uh, draw box click on any corner of this text box not inside of the text box if you click uh, inside the text box then you can't copy the object object is here is text box not text so click on one side corner of text box control c control v then then hold it and then again copy control c control v and when you click on this text box you can see that uh, uh, its background color is filled by white color so i will remove its filled color Sh shape fill should be no fill and here also no fill here also shackle no fail so guys here i will click and text color text color i will select my text and at home tab here i can change my text color after that i will increase the font size and you can see guys bold it uh, i delete this draw box just delete and 
I take it down and increase I will increase its size by clicking on any corner of this and drag it down here we go you can see after that I will select my name and here I will click on center alignment or I can uh, click control E keys from my keyboard here after that I will select this graphic designer post and will reduce its size 40 and will align it in center control E and will underline this post double underline and here I will also underline it and here we go I will remove lining space on home tab click on lining and line and paragraph spacing so 1.0 and remove space after paragraph now you can, you can see that it is all set after that I will take this drop box here and will write here my phone number as you guys can see here here I will type my phone number and here I will write my gmail id and here I will write my here I will write my residential address or postal address control V so it is all set after that guys I will draw a box here for phone icon and here for G uh, email icon and here for residential address icon so insert click on insert here text box draw a text box here I draw a text box as you can see guys here here after that I will click on shape fill in drawing tools as it is selected and its prop, uh, formatting options are already opened in uh, menu ribbon so I click on no fill so white uh, fill has been erased and no outline shape outline no outline after that I will copy it again it, uh, it is selected now copy and control copy control V uh, sorry friends I take again it mm, here draw box I draw a box here share fill 
no fill click on it outline no outline I see control V control V After that I click in this box and will insert house icon. So in samples click on insert then at the right side in samples before click inside the draw box symbol then select a house then click on this symbol click inside double click inside the draw box and insert this icon then double click Click on insert symbol and here receiver icon. <clears throat> After that, guys, I want to uh, change these icons color. So press shift and click on this one, click on this one, click on this one. So these three icons are now selected after that click on home tab then here click on white color for font size so guys here you guys can see that this draw box has outline color that is black so I double click on it so I double click on one car corner of this box and here you can see shape outline I click on no outline and after that I will click on this uh, box double click on one side of this box and shape outline then click on no outline after that guys I will put my picture here so click on insert then picture and on desktop I kept this picture so here I will uh, this picture is on the back side of these objects so I will take in it in the front so click on this and then bring it in front in front of text after that I will hold uh, left button of my mouse and will reduce its size that it should be be decreases in accurate size after that I will here you guys can see shift press left button of your mouse use arrow keys every time for proper result
now this object is selected this picture is selected and here is its formatting option after that crop this picture as much as you want to crop here you can see I hold this side and okay I hold upper side of this picture as here you can see that upper side is cropped click outside of the picture and then use arrow key upper arrow key I crop it a little bit more crop it again here we go here we go now I will flip this picture horizontally so it can look like this it is already selected click on on this flip horizontal now you can see that this is all set after that uh, use left arrow key and after that here you can see that this picture has smooth edges so click on this soft edges rectangle here we go so friends after that uh, here you can see that this rectangle uh, rectangle color is different so I click on this rectangle then mm, double click here you can see shape fill shape fill and here we go here now this is same color as this rectangle has after that friends hmm, I reduce my picture here after that here I will draw a box for education then for experience and then for references languages references you can see guys here languages experience education and reference so I draw a box here as I said earlier click on insert text box at right side draw text box and click here insert draw text box and draw text box friends uh, earlier I told you that I format every uh, 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 draw box separately but this time I will format it first and then will copy it and then will paste it here for experience then for language then for references so here I click on this 
after that outline no outline and then home and font size the text which I am going to insert in this box should be 22 and it should be bold okay then I will type here education 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 after that I will click on one corner of this box so it can be copied control C from keyboard copy control V and here you can see I will take it here here and now I will copy it again uh, 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 it is already copied so I will paste it again all paste and here I will keep it and again paste and here we go so this is reference as you can see here reference 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 this is languages which is and this is what we say experiences experience okay language languages so here you can see guys that I have to increase this rectangle size after that here we go after that I have to draw a box here for about then for hobbies so I will copy it control C control V then well take it there I will delete it because uh, this is a rounded uh, uh, rectangle click on insert then shape then here you can see a rounded rectangle I will draw it here we go it decrease its size you can see guys it is almost done after that click inside on this object it is now selected click on home tape then here 14 and should be more so I type about but home color and its size twenty two A B O U T about twenty two uh, two is also not enough so here I increase the size
I think 26 will be ok after that control B or bolt here then click on one side of this object rectangle control C control V and here it has been pasted after that you can for a proper alignment keep it there and then you can see that it is proper alignment aligned so click on it and use arrow key from your keyboard keyboard click on one side of this object any corner of this object then take it down by using arrow key and here we go so guys after that I have to draw a text box here for text box is I already told you that con click on insert then text box and draw or text box keep your cursor there that it should be proper aligned and here uh, and then drag it down drag it down press left button of your mouse and decrease its size after that you can write here about yourself that what you want to be and what you was and how much you are passionate for anything and what is your passion control C so here I paste it I have already so guys you can see that so so guys you can see it is almost done guys i will uh, i will uh, this video takes so much took so much time but uh, i will uh, upload many videos about different uh, template because it was uh, my first video on resume making uh, i wanted to elaborate everything clearly after uh, after watching this with your uh, great intention you will uh, here here I insert and then draw box here you can see I put my educations about my education so friends uh, educations uh, which you you are going to put in your resume should be chrono uh, chronological but adverse mean uh, 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 in descending order so here I got my metric qualification in 2012 then in 2019 and there 2019 this should be 2015 so it should be reverse chronological order so I 
copy it control C and here I paste control V after that I copy it control C and here I paste paste it and after my bachelor relief your last education should be at the top of your education and here I will put my metric education so you can so you guys can see that I have typed all about my education that I have got in different years in reverse chronological order uh, here you guys can see that there is no uh, box visible so this box has outline I will click on it double click and no shape outline should be no outline so you guys can see here that it is all set after that I will copy it control C then control V and here it has pasted I will take it my new page here I will reduce its size and for proper alignment I will keep it there and then I will use my arrow key from keyboard after that click inside the inbox then control A it will select all the text inside the box then backspace and then write about your experiences what should be if you have many experiences then you can write about as much as you have this is properly properly in line <coughs> after that here I have insert a chart so you guys can see I click here on my this sheet and then chart and I will click on this chart here we go ok and you can see that this graph design and here you can write about your languages as English English Urdu Malaysian, Hindi, 
Hindi or anything Hindi so I can speak 100% here you type 100% person delete it this is source file of our chart so don't confuse with it I will tell you about it so I will take it in front of text here I go hmm. so Hindi Urdu English if you want to ch uh, change in this first of all I will put it its proper place so I will drag it here ok here we go you can see this is reference I take it down so this is our chart about languages if you want any change in this chart then right click on this chart edit data it will let you get in its source file that in excel sheet so here you can see English sorry 100% and here Hindi after that just close it and here you can see that I increase the size of my page so I can properly work here you guys can see that as I click on any series of my chart here its formatting option open so I can change anything from here first of all um, primary axis axis option series 1 2 you can change anything from here it is its formatting options text options either you can access option here English Urdu title of our language 
we can change first of click on it and then click on home then bold it you can increase its size here we go you can see I want to delete this chart title so click on it click on chart title just delete it and sorry friends my laptop's battery is getting down so I plugged it in text option at the right side uh, as I clicked on text option here you can text fill text outline mm, horizontal there are a lot of formatting options you can change so references uh, in my template as I write here we can provide reference in our resume if we have a reference from any organization if not then I just write here write here sort of like copy it um, no, I copy this text as it's formatting. Control C, Control V. I will take it down. It was pasted here. reference for reference I draw a box here insert insert and then click on text box text box draw text box and here I draw a text box you can write here references may be provided if required a reference may be provided on request so here we go but on my resume I gave this reference so I put this as well here control C I will reduce the size after that control C Okay. 
here. Let's see, here I will write phone number of the reference. A symbol of email can be inserted here. Now you can see alignment of my insert option then symbol then click on this and home and change the color so here you guys can see that I have put an email icon here so after that I will click inside the draw box and now you can see guys my cursor is here and after that I will click on insert then click on symbol then here you can put receiver icon for contact information we can increase the size Here we go. This is our languages chart. So I want to change. so it's border here is no border but it has a border when I clicked on it on the right side you can see their format chart area so border should be raised no line here you can see that no line and this top should be deleted
so after that I have to write about my hobbies here which o b i e s hobbies and then I will draw a text box here click on insert then text box then draw a text box here after that I will copy it control C control V I will convert and another one draw box choose arrow key choose arrow key one more text box for icon here I draw an icon ok then I will draw text box for book reading, writing, listening music and cricket, whatever. Insert text box, text box. Here. Okay. Insert. here and insert text for I'm doing it again and again so you guys can see it again and again I can copy and paste it also and next upcoming videos I will prepare different templates in five to seven minutes for you guys so here you can see that here you can see that this box has border but this box has no outline so I click on this is selected no outline okay and then I Here I write writing. Here I write listening music. Here I write cricket. 
and here I insert symbols for book reading and it uh, I select what's I select this icon and at home I increase its size and its font color should be blue. After that click in this in draw box and insert symbol here a symbol of pen. First of all, select this pen, then change the font color. After click in this cell, then insert and take a symbol for music. Here we go. Home size uh, can be 22 and its font color. After that, click in this drop uh, draw box text box and then insert insert and for cricket I choose this cup. Is and then home size then earth color So guys, this was resume. Here's uh, you guys can uh, can uh, edit anything as relevant to your job. So guys, I hope you will like it. If you like it, then please subscribe my channel and share it with, uh, it with your friends uh, one thing more uh, friends uh, you want to send your cv or resume online then uh, first of all first of all uh, mm, you have to save this file as pdf file mm, here PDF file for submission purpose and for editable this I want to save this save as desktop my cv 
my CV and save as type should be PDF then save and here you can see that you are resume all is prepared this was our first resume and this I prepared today for you guys so I hope you will like this video if you like then subscribe and share with your guys we'll see you in next video Allah Hafiz